Good evening Hackology and welcome to tonight's video. In tonight's video I was going to take you through setting up GQRX on Linux uh, under Debian Jesse but it appears I'm not going to have to because uh, since RTL SDR and GQRX have become so popular uh, Debian have kindly included them in the repositories. Installing them is as easy as typing sudo apt tac get install RTL tac SDR and GQRX tac SDR. So uh, in tonight's video uh, I thought I'd take you through Using GQRX, we could do a little bit of scanning, see if we could find some hams, see if we could find some POXAG signals, see if we could just find some commercial stations, and maybe some aircraft traffic, maybe uh, maybe some voice chat from, from aircrafts. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes anyway. Um, and we'll try scanning on um, GQRX, we'll do a little scan on GQRX, and then we'll do a little scan on um, SDR Sharp. Um, if you're just getting into this now and you're considering uh, you know taking up the radio stuff as a hobby I highly suggest you install um, GQRX and RTL SDR on Linux as you're probably able to do a lot more with the command line programs and we're going to be doing some more stuff with command line programs in upcoming episodes if you're not sure about radios um, but you're interested in the subject and you just want to get into it to start having a look at it I'd suggest you look at the Windows based software um, which is uh, SDR Sharp, which I showed you how to install in the last video. Um, but tonight, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see anyway. We'll see if we can get SDR Sharp going as well as GQRX. So, I'm going to get set up over um, where all my radio gear is. We'll see you in a bit, guys. Right, Hackology, this is my little radio setup I've got. Um, basically, uh, running uh, Atom NC10, uh, dual core. Two gigabytes of RAM and uh, Debian Jesse with GQRX installed. And over here, on a uh, small USB extension lead, got the RTL dongle plugged in via uh, MCPX to BNC and then BNC to uh, PL259, I think it is. This cable goes upstairs into my loft. And uh, yeah, up in the loft I've got um, a disco and antenna that I was uh, kindly donated by somebody very, 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 very cool. And uh, he heard I was getting into radio and uh, offered me an antenna that he'd had uh, from when he used to um, be into radio and stuff. It's pretty cool. Very nice of him. So anyway, uh, GQRX. Let's get the uh, GoPro set up and let's do a little bit of scanning. Okay, Hackology, GQRX, first thing to do is issue the command GQRX, um, followed by enter, make sure you've got your dongle plugged in, and if it doesn't boot to the screen, it will display the screen, the setting screen, um, make sure your device is set to the Realtek device, leave everything else default, click OK. Okay. Um, here is the uh, spectrum display, here is the waterfall display, here is the current frequency that you're tuned to, at the moment we're tuned to 144.5 MHz. Here are all your default kind of system menu options, and you've got your file options here, we'll go into some of these a little bit later, ignore that for now though, these are the important bits here. So. The first thing you'll need to do is go to this input controls and we've got something here called um, LNA gain which is basically the signal strength amplification where that um, GQRX uh, gives the signal coming from the USB. So you're going to need to increase that but let's firstly turn on the dongle by clicking the power button up here and increase the LNA gain so that you don't get any peaks going off the screen or anything distorting. Next thing you'll probably want to do is I have my audio turned down quite a bit here, but you want to hear me and you also want to hear the radio. So your tuner options are here. So you've got a filter which is normal, narrow, or wide. So you can see this change here. You can set your own filter or your own filter width by dragging 
precursor when it's on um, when it's actually on the, the filter the outside line of the filter you can grab the uh, line in the middle to scan through the frequencies or move to something that looks interesting so here we go I've got some of the ham radio guys online at the moment Oh, he's breaking the laws. But, um, he's breaking the laws. He's breaking the rules of radio. There, he's talking about politics on the air, so you shouldn't do that. Right. So this is uh, up in the ham band. Uh, we can tune to a commercial station, which is wide band FM. So if we go to so 97.9, that glorious radio one, radio station that all the kids love. I'm tuning to 97.9. Here we are. What we need to do is change this to wide mode FM stereo. And we can boost the volume a little bit more, I think. So uh, that's uh, an example of tuning for wide mode FM stereo. Some of the frequencies, let's just see if there's any aeroplanes about. So we'll go to 1118.4. One, have a look. And we need to go to this time, uh, it's going to be AM. So very loud. So we to turn the radio going down a little bit. And let's see if we can get some voice. That looks like voice traffic. Maybe. So you'll notice the airband uses AM, which transmits a lot further than FM. We've got another signal over here. So you see at the moment the uh, airwaves are quite busy. Now, um, let's just go up to walkie talkie band. With no. no voice tonight. Right, okay. So tuning, FM, AM, wideband, narrowband, your gain. You can actually tell the hardware to do the gain correction for you, which will give you a much better signal. Uh, you may want this on, you might not want it on. There are some advantages and disadvantages to doing it that way. Um, you'll find that as people transmit the actual um, noise, um, noise plateau drops, and uh, if you're doing stuff with Poxag, you probably don't want that. You want to keep um, everything at a constant level, that is what the, the program is expecting. Um, so, okay, we've looked at filters, we've looked at tuning, um, we've also looked at AM, FM, narrowband, wideband. Down here you have settings for, let's go back down to some uh, traffic. see with the hardware um, input gain control um, I'm going to turn that off because I prefer it off and I prefer actually doing the game myself so we're doing that up to about there Okay, so we've tuned in here. Um, so down here you've got your FFT settings, which is basically this, um, this view here. Um, you can set the size, so that's like the scope of how much data you're looking at coming off the USB stick. I think the maximum you can do with the RTL is 4096. Don't quote me on that though. We can actually slow this down by changing it to one frame a second. So. Oh, this isn't the waterfall actually, this is the actual update for the uh, refresh. 
So if you're running this on an old machine, you can um, change the, the actual rate um, that this updates here, uh, which will save your machine on some processing and uh, probably run things a little bit smoother. Okay. You can also record audio by clicking this button. So if you wanted to record audio and replay it in something like GNU Radio, if you were looking at something like ADSB or you're looking at uh, Poxag Flex or something, and you've got a, a recording of that uh, uh, sound, you could then play it through some radio software and use the radio software to uh, demodulate the uh, signal and find out what the data was. But we'll, we'll look at Poxag in, uh, in a later uh, video. So, uh, Hackology, that's really been uh, GQRX, it's a pretty basic uh, piece of software that allows you to scan uh, between the uh, allowed frequencies on your RTL dongle. It's all going to seem very daunting at first, um, let me just mute this, okay, let me just pause it, stop, stop, stop. So it's all going to seem very daunting at first, you're not going to know what to look for, you're not going to know what you're going to be looking for, you're not going to uh, understand some of the terminology, which I still don't, I'm still picking it up. Um, and there are people that are really into radio stuff, and then there's people that are interested in radio stuff, and at the moment I'm in the category for the people that are interested in radio stuff, there are people at the radio club that know, from, you know, have phenomenal amounts of knowledge. and. I suppose that's another thing. If you're looking to get into this, um, you really want to go and sign up to your local radio club and go and do your foundation license. Get yourself a call sign. And by doing that, you'll meet people that are uh, into similar things, doing similar stuff. And uh, they, they have days where they, they, they do competitions and see how far they can get certain signals to go. But anyway, less of that, that's not GQRX. Um, I really hope you found this video useful in some way. Uh, we'll probably go into a little bit more um, using RTL, the, the actual RTL packages um, on Linux and Multimon soon. Uh, but that's been GQRX. I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's been Hackology and we shall be back really soon. Peace guys.